Hi, my name's Clive. Um, I'm here in the UK on a cold December morning. I've decided to put a channel together um, regarding converting my pickup into a camper van. Um, I've converted a couple of Volkswagen vans before. Well, this is the first time I've tried to convert a pickup truck. And how I'm going about this is I've actually bought a demountable camper that was designed for another type of pickup truck. I'm actually going to modify that to fit. Um, but I'm also going to add into it the features that I want. For instance, at the moment, it's got a, a three-way fridge. I want to compress a fridge. I want to get rid of the gas system. I need to add some form of heating. Um, but all this will be covered in my build diaries. So, um, without further ado, I'll uh, I'll take you over and show you the actual okay. truck. Well, this is the actual pickup. Um, it's a Volkswagen Transporter Type Four. These were made between 1991 and 2004. They did make them in the US, um, but I think they just did a petrol version and it was called a, a Eurovan. It effectively came after the Type 25, which they called the Vanagon. So it's quite a, an unusual truck. Uh, you don't really see many of these in the UK. I've, uh, I've actually removed the license plate at the moment. Um, so it's got five seats inside. Let's go around the back. That's my bike rack on the back on the tow hitch. Uh, one of the unusual things of this van, it's actually a four wheel drive version, uh, which is a synchro. So it's a permanent four wheel drive uh, with a diff lock on the rear axle. Now, the engine in this particular one's a 2.5 diesel, turbo diesel, um, direct injection. Um, the good thing about these trucks is they're uh, actually quite economical to run. Uh, I've actually had another four-wheel drive version of this truck for the last eight years, uh, but that just had a that was a short wheel base with a van can van conversion. I've still got that truck so I'll probably put a video together just showing the interior of that. But the reason I've gone for this truck is I just wanted something a bit different and I also wanted to put a back on that was removable. And my long term plan is to actually also build a stealth camper box for the back. So effectively it just looks like a delivery truck and doesn't have any windows or it might have windows that are covered up by a pop-up roof but after I've converted the demountable that is my plan to actually build a box for the back because I am missing the fact that I haven't actually got a van so I'm into cycling as well so it's handy to be able to put my bikes in the back and keep them out of the weather. Um, I think that's all there is to say about this at the moment. So we'll, we'll now go on to the actual demountable, which is over here. Okay, this is a, an Island Plastics Sun Trekker fiberglass camper. This, was, this actual one was made in 1992, I believe. Um, and it was, the chap I bought it off had it, actually had it fitted on a a Land Rover, uh, the high capacity model. I think overall it's supposed to weigh around 450 kilos, so actually under half a ton. Uh, my actual pickup truck is designed to carry about a ton, uh, but I'm, I will be trying to sort of save weight really wherever possible. I've actually owned this about two months, so I have already completed some work. For instance the actual Luton, I've cut six inches off the bottom of the Luton 
because this was designed for a Toyota pickup, one ton pickup. Um, oh yeah, I just wanted to apologise if I keep going, um, <coughs> I just seem to have got into this habit but hopefully as I get used to making videos I'll stop going um all the time, so I apologise for that. But this was designed for a Toyota one, one ton pickup, so as you see the actual size it was designed to slide into the bed because the Toyota had, had sides on it it then came up and then over the bed to get the actual width. My particular truck is a complete flatbed so the plan is to fit sides with lockers to fill the actual voids and you'll see there's already I've already started work <coughs> this I've constructed this steel f subframe for it to sit on and these these outriggers actually align with the tie down points on my actual pickup but I'll be be making size to actually fill the voids with lockers for, for extra external storage I'll just take you around the camper quickly um, so that's the water fill got the shore power it needs a good clean got the gas locker here my plan is to get rid of gas to be honest it's only got a very small gas locker so you can just fit the camping gas gas containers which are butane only it isn't really a lot of use to me because I plan to go to cold places it's also at the moment it's jacked up pretty high because I've been having to put the truck underneath a few times just to check a few things but really you shouldn't actually go in it when it's this high but I'll just I will anyway just to give you a quick view of the inside <coughs> which I've actually stripped out so it's looking a bit sad at the moment um, there we go again saying um but uh, oh yeah we've got a bit of a water leak through the front window so I'll be fixing that at some point soon that's a water tank I pl plan to use. At the moment it's only got a 20 litre tank so I'm planning to fit about a 70 litre tank. I've removed all the lining from the sides, I've removed all the carpet and you can see where I've, that's where the, that's where the, the Luton floor used to be and I've raised it up and then re in a new sheet of plywood and this is all sealed so even though there is water on there it's not actually going to leak through. <coughs> so we've got some storage, these fold up bits, the gas cooker, a sink, that's all also fold up. Um, and believe it or not, then there's a pull out section for the Luton. So you get a very big double bed up there. And the two benches here, they actually, you've got two six foot benches. You can either have two singles or you put the table in the middle to make a double bed. So you've effectively got two double beds in a very small box. I think overall it's around six foot wide, 13 foot long from this end to the tip of the Luton. The actual floor area is just over eight foot and then about six foot standing height, which is fine for me because I'm, I'm under six foot anyway. Um, the other thing you've got here is a three-way fridge, which I'll be getting rid of, getting rid of, and replacing with a compressor fridge. So it'll just be 12 volt only with solar. Got a bit of storage here, a bit of a wardrobe. At the moment, I've just dumped a load of tools in here. So, so that's it. Oh, you've also got um, under here. <coughs> there's also a portal, which I won't really be using a lot. So yeah, there's quite a lot of work to do. I'll be basically re-carpeting the roof line in, making new panels for the sides. But really I need to crack on with the the outside. So I will I'll show you show you what, what I've been doing so far. This is where I'm working from at the moment. It's an old shooting lodge. Excuse the mess, I've got to have a bit of a tidy up. 
But um, yeah, these are the old panels from the Sun Trekker from inside that I've removed. There's a few other bits of soft furnishings that I won't be using again, like old curtains. That's the table over there. This is one of the side panels I've already constructed, which will form the lockers on one side of the Sun Trekker. Construction method is a 6mm ply with a wooden frame and then a foam core and then on the other side I've got a 6mm ply so it's sort of like a sandwich panel quite light it's 8 foot long by, by about 2 foot high and weighs around 20 pound for coating this I'm planning to put uh, one layer of fiberglass to seal it all and then like a gel coat straight top coat finish to give it a nice finish so you can see where I've been filling all the screw screw holes. Quite a lot of work to do. Yeah, the, the locker door is it's bottom hinge using a piano hinge. Anyway, that's it for now. Cheers.